I need to get my shit together. Yeah. Yeah, PE is another one. F cell is another one. Uh, fuel cell stocks. Yep, PE is getting higher. All right. Uh, DraftKings, I did cover, it, it hit the 50 day yesterday. I did cover a bunch, but I still have about half size left. So we'll see what happens with that one. TNA, I bought some late day or actually midday. We'll see. DDOT bounced off the rising 20 day. Uh, I, I got in a Tesla at uh, thousand bucks, thousand two bucks. I bought fifteen other shares late day. Uh, I rebought it a bit higher than when I sold, but you know it looks good. I think this thing goes to twelve thirteen hundred. Uh, Twilio so far riding the twenty day rising twenty day. Livongo is riding the rising ten day. Mealy rising to riding the ten day. WRTC, I bought a position yesterday. Again, I bought some yesterday. Shopify, almost at new highs pre-market, riding the 10-day. ZS, so far riding this 20-day. Net, riding the 20-day. Uh, just the leaders are looking fine. Fastly gapping up a little bit from yesterday's short. I still think this thing goes to down to mid-60s or something in the near term. PDD, I bought, I added to my position yesterday. I doubled my position. Like I had about a quarter or so left, a third or a quarter left from my initial buy in the low 50s. And uh, I doubled up my position. Just because it looks so good. This thing wants to go higher. It's just super strong. The way it's surfing the rising 10 day. And Beely, as you know, I added to this one too. And HGSH I bought. I, I know Reno and uh, his fake friend is in this thing. <laughs> his paid friend. Or is it the other way around? No, no, no. David paid Reno to be his friend, I think. Anywho, I don't know. Oh, workhorse, 19 per share financing. That, wait, 19 per share? What? That's, wait, what? No, that can't be right. Oh, okay. You know, it is at 19 per share. Interesting. Yeah, convertible note. Yeah, okay. Going bullish on AYI. Uh, it has some kind of news. Equity, yeah, equity brands. What's the news on this thing? Oh, that's some kind of a... Oh, they reported earnings. Nah. There's nothing here. This workhorse keeps twisting the knife in me. Why? Oh, INO just hit it negatively. INO. Adam Feuerstein. All right, I'm going to shake my positions one more time. Ha! 
Haven't made any money on it. Celdex. Uh, Celdex is flagging, but it's not a. I mean, uh, I don't know. I think it needs more time. I don't even know why this thing is up. I should probably investigate with this thing. Well, why it's why it's up? I'm gonna put it here in my watch list and see. I know until like mid low twenties, I'm not gonna cover a single share. Not a single share. <sighs> Do you use EMA and SMA? I just you use the ones I think work pretty well. Um, all right, let's keep the shatter to, to a minimum, the first 30 minutes, because I will be very busy trading, and then after that I can take more questions. The markets are open. Let's see what we got here. I added a little bit more to my INO short, so I have 50,000 shares now. The data was so, so. PDD gapping up, nice. Okay, I got stopped out of that half. I know already. Gonna look for a re entry later. Fastly? What about Fastly? Yeah, I found support again. <laughs> What's new, right? Fastly has some pretty strong uh, support levels. Wow, uh, a bunch of high tide flags are breaking out right now, like Shopify and uh, PDD. Holy shit. I'm not sure if I'm going to add to those. PDD looks tempting though. What the hell? I and no. <laughs> okay, okay. That's some uh, that's some deep buying on I and no.
I added some to I and know I added back 25,000 shares on this I'm gonna use the highs of the day now as my stop Okay, so I found the news why BE is up. PR with Samsung Heavy Industries. Nice. I just bought 50,000 shares of this BE. It's a hot sector. Plug has had a big run, BLDP is on a big run, B hasn't really gone yet. Just coming out of long consolidation. It's not a momentum leader, but why not? Good risk reward. My risk is 50 cents to potential make, I don't know, 5 bucks? Why can't this thing go up 5 bucks? Beyond meat is bouncing off the rising 50 day. But that thing has had a lot of negative news flow lately.
Yeah, Tesla is going. Yep. Oh, Fastly is going too. <laughs> oh, come on. What a shit stuff. Really, this thing can't literally go down. Solo. Xela. Jean. Why would those be longs? What's your setup on those? Daily flags? But Solo broke out yesterday in the low twos. That was the entry. Xela is just a random uh, low price stock. Also broke out yesterday. Uh, and Jean, this is just also some random stock in the middle of nowhere. Like if you think they're gonna get pumped, sure. But these are these things have no reason to go up unless they get pumped. So if you know they're gonna get pumped, go for it. Uh, workhorse, yeah, I'm stalking it. I have some shares located, um, but ideal this thing goes like 20 to today, and maybe we get the short tomorrow. Ideal, we don't get the short today. I am stalking it, but not super excited about it at all right now. What's this end back? Beely? Yeah, Beely is nice. Yep. This thing screamed at us yesterday. If you didn't realize this thing was screaming at you yesterday, you need you have a lot of work to do, guys. You need to go back and study at least a thousand hours. You need to put put in put study the big winners from the 90s and 2000s and 2010s. This thing was screaming at all of us. It was all about listening. Mm, MU has been lagging for uh, for a long time. I know people have been mentioning this thing to me for months, but it never goes. I don't know. Yeah, if you bought Beely yesterday, you're gonna be a multimillionaire. Not on this stock per se, but you're you're getting it. That's the most important thing. You're getting it. You heard the screaming. And that's a good thing. GSX breaking out. There's a lot of things breaking out right now. A lot of things. Now JD is starting to move. I'm thinking about adding to PDD. I, I'm not sure yet. Ugh, da, da, da. I don't know. It looks super extended. Ah, I don't know. I'm going to be careful. I already have a bunch of long exposure. Okay, I took I, I, I took another I took a took a loss on I and no. I, I lost 70k on it. Man, I can't win on this thing. I lost 100 k yesterday. What the hell? I can't win on I and no. I just can't win on it. I cannot win on it. Semiconductors are trying to break out. Soxel broke out so far. I wish I had seen it earlier. Nvidia is breaking out. All the semis are breaking out right now. The only one I'm interested to trade is, is in, uh, Soxel because that's the fastest moving name.
Hydex getting pumped again. Yeah. Yeah, Zoom is just bounced off to rising 10 days. Zoom looks, uh, I mean, this thing looks amazing. It, it, it's gonna go to 300, it is. It's gonna go to 300. I tried it, tried, I sold my long yesterday and tried to short it, took a loss on the short. But I'm gonna get back long if it sets up. Probably not today. Nickel is about to break down. Like, I would like to go swing short Nicola. But the thing is, the borrow is super expensive. Super expensive borrow. I would have to pay like 10, 15k every night. 20. No, wait, wait. If I would go for 50. Yeah, I would have to pay like 50, 60,000 per night to hold this thing short, swing short. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm passing on it. So it is looking to like it's about to weaken. Yeah, GAN looks great. Already up almost 10% from my entry yesterday. Beely, holy shit. I guess it's time to size down a little bit from yesterday's ads. I sold 3,000 shares. I still have 37,000 shares of this thing. Damn, I should have added to PDD today also. Whatever. Um. They are going one by one. SC could be an ad spot but nah i'm passing on it mainly setting up ddoc setting up net setting up oh man there's just so many setups right now but these are more like continuation setups they're not like a plus setups they're more like b minus shorter term momentum setups INO is just incredible beast. LVGO, I'm long LVGO. So yes, I guess it's on my radar. Need to set up. It, it, it is setting up, it is setting up. It needs to go sideways much more. NIO, I'm a bit tempted. Yeah, Blink has been uh, on this thing for a while. Yep. Oh, sorry, Dantes. Has been on it. JD looks good. It's a slow stock, but it looks good. Etsy breaking higher. Yeah, shop is grinding higher. This FMCI is very interesting. 
I'm long 40,000 shares, but if this thing starts breaking that 1850 area again, I'm gonna add more. This thing looks like it wants to go to 25 or so, 30. Yeah, all the semis are breaking out today. Yep. IPHI is trying, Nvidia is trying, AMD is lagging, but it is bouncing. Uh, but my preferred play on the semis is Soxel, the triple ETF. Marvel is a very slow start. TC2000, like it says here in the corner, TC2000. It's my sharding and scanning and watch list management software. SMH is the, is, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's a very slow ETF. If you wanna do the semi ETF, I would, I would do Soxel, it's much faster. If SMH is going to go up 10%, Soxel is going to go up 30%. Or maybe even more. So it, it, you get more bang for your buck with this one. Unfortunately, it's... Hmm, wait, wait, wait. How much is it up? Five, um, hmm. I am tempted of doing a little bit of it. Small caps are weakening here. I hope this blink goes to 10 bucks today and work course to like 2022. 20, These uh, recreational vehicle stocks look vu uh, vulnerable. A THO and uh, Vinabago. And Camping World Holdings. Looks like these are all. Kind of weakish. Fastly here? No. Or, you know, look, if you, I mean, sure, if you want to, but I, I'm not going to. I'm going to look for a solid range on the 60-minute chart. Maybe mid or late day. I'm, I'm not going to add to it today, but maybe in the next few days, if I see a solid range. TSM, guys, it's a very slow name. It's a super, this is one of the slowest names. Don't, don't even look at this thing. It looks good, it's, it's a good setup, but it's a super, the ADR is only 2%. You never get rich trading stocks like this. Stick to the high octane names. NVAC squeezing, very good, yeah, very good. I hope this thing goes to 120. Again? Yeah. I'll get excited if it goes to 35 plus. GPS? Uh, I don't know. Right now, there's a lot of... This is not a... Nah. I don't see a good setup in it. These things are all gonna go bankrupt, I think. Eventually. Or maybe not. Kanye's 10-year collaboration.
LC. Oh boy. What? LCA, okay. <laughs> yes, it's going up. Yeah, PDD, Shopify, these high tide flags are running right now. Yep. I'm actually gonna start raising a bunch of stops. You know what, instead of buying into PDD, I'm gonna sell a tiny bit of it. I'm trying not to be greedy here. <coughs> Square, uh, yeah, it is. Soxel just keeps going without me. GSX breaking out finally. Again, halt risk. I just don't want to touch this thing. Yeah, LAC, Dante has been pushing this thing for a while, but this, it has no volume. Uh, uh, impossible to trade this thing. <laughs> I 
Tesla nice. Sweet. I'm actually sizing down a little bit. Where I'm gonna from yesterday's ads. I sold 30 shares out of 1500. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. It feels like we're gonna get a parabolic move in, in a bunch of these stocks. It feels like that. Uh, I know the, you know, the short is, um, I mean, it's kind of building higher lows on the 60 minute chart. That is true. It is kind of, a, you know, so far it is holding up really well. Unless it starts topping out below this rising 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart, it's kind of hard to be bearish on it. Because now the news is out and it's not going down. And the news were so-so. They released data and there was like no actual data in the release. So, <laughs> so yeah. Would you consider Lake today? Uh, It is setting up actually. Thanks for uh, turning me on this thing. It's it's the same sector as APT and these other face mask sto face mask stocks. Uh, not today, but if it starts breaking out in the next few days, I will consider it. This thing actually broke out last week, but then it pulled back. But it is still building higher lows and surfing the rising 10-day moving average. Yeah, the best kind of data if is when there is no data. Man, I'm bored. I am bored. This RH is setting up in an insane way. This thing looks good. ACAM? Uh, no, avoid. One, okay, let, let's start. Why is this not a good setup? Okay, okay, first, it already broke out two days ago, okay? That, that's the first problem. The second problem is the ADR. It's a very slow moving stock. The ADR is 2.8. I usually avoid stocks that are below four. The best ones are, you know, six, eight, 10, etc. 2.8 is a very slow stock. Hard to get rich trading a stock like this. Three, it's not a momentum leader. Look at how choppy this thing is. It always pulls back. Look at how erratic this is. It's like all over the place. It's a very erratic, slow moving stock. It's not a momentum leader. So no, that, that's what I think of ACAM. Yeah, I'm too lazy for that video.
Scottmar. Some people will always uh, find uh, look for reasons for the market to tank. Oh, it's Tuesday, the market is going to tank. Oh, it's this, the market is gonna tank. Oh, it's that, the market is gonna tank. Just ignore it. Unless you actually have some evidence, back-tested evidence that some kind of event has a bullish or bearish uh, 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 force on the market, you just ignore. Most most tr people on, on Twitter are broke, on FinTwit are broke. There's no reason to listen to them. Follow the price section. No, it's true. A lot of the big shots you see in Fintweet, those people are broke. They made no money. And some of them are bitter because they've been bearish for the past 10 years and missed all of the market upside and maybe even being short. And then they get the, that's the, and then you get these, uh, Hardcore and perma bears. They're psychologi psychologically fucked up. There's a lot of those guys. And then they, uh, a bunch of people that have the same mental problems are following these people like a cult. It's kind of sad, really. Instead of just tr you know investing and trading in what's in front of you, they just can't get out of their own heads. S back. Oh really? What's this? Exactly, Mark. Yeah, Mark is. Yeah, what happened to Mark? Why is this still this thing not in the double digits? <laughs> it is actually setting up. That's the crazy part. What's the other piece of shit doing? IMPX is the worst piece of shit ever. Oh, now it's breaking. Okay, yeah, there's nothing there. No one wants this shit. Yeah, zero hedge. And this, this the other guy, Northman Trader. Constantly, like, bearish on everything. Every single piece of news is a bearish piece of news. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly. I can't believe people are following. It's like... Like, it's like some kind of porn. Like, these guys have been wrong forever. They haven't been right on anything. And yet, they, they have these big followings. Because, I don't know, people, I guess, want to hear some bear porn. End of, uh, end of world type of stuff. I don't know. I guess some people get off of it. I don't know. Kind of fascinating how it is, really. Yeah. I mean, there are bull, like perma bulls too. Like these people are crazy, but the, but at least they are. At least they uh, they have been cor uh, right. Yeah, but it's one thing of being a perma bear and being negative of every, every, everything, and it's another thing to trade to have a specific trading methodology that works and that is that you have back tested in some way. There's two very different things. One is going to make you money. The other is not going to make you money. I, I was also mostly a short seller before when I was day trading. Most of my trades were shorts. I, I found it when I was day trading and short term swing trading. I found it were it was much easier to find shorts than longs. <laughs> Every time you ask about the long setup, I say no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna say ne yes next time, okay? I promise. I I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Do they make money off? Yeah, of course they make money. Yeah, they. Some of these guys have big followings. Yeah, of course they make money. I mean, if you have a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand followers on Twitter, you you're gonna make some decent money. 
especially if that follow followship is fanatical. Of course, yeah, it's very easy to monetize 100,000 followers. You can make a good living off of it. Oh, thanks, Will Score. I appreciate it. NK uh, 870. Uh, well, yeah, it's higher now. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a super great setup, but yeah, I mean, it's in the correct, it's in the right sector, COVID-19, you know, that's why it's higher. But you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't take anything I say as gospel. My point is, like, I say this every day, spend a thousand hours looking back at the big winners in the stock market, at least a thousand hours, develop your own setups, then you don't have, ask, have to ask me about setups. I don't want anyone here to take anything I say as gospel. You should take ev everything I say with a big grain of salt and verify, verify everything for yourself. There are no shortcuts, guys. No shortcuts. It's absolutely, most of these guys are not trading. And <laughs> bear in the woods. Lie, short whisper is our Jesus. I'm gonna tweet what uh, Will Score said. <laughs> mRNA, it bounced off the rising t uh, 50 day and now it's trying to break, I, oh man, it's a sneaky setup here, it's a sneaky setup, it's not obvious yet, G pack, G pack, what's this? Oh, another one of these packs. Man, they're running up all of them. They're all very thin. The Shizume. Uh, INO heavy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do with this thing, to be honest. Uh, man, I think I'm going to pass on INO. Yeah. Do you take... Uh, sometimes I do. Like, sometimes... Uh, I mainly use the 10 and 20 day moving averages, but I, I do use the ten, uh, 50 day too. Absolutely, I do. A lot of the good ones are off the 50 day. INO, for example, this one bounced off the 50 day. Look at this thing. This thing bounced off the 50 day uh, early mid June. And then it more than it went up 160% in a few weeks. So the 50 day ones can be really good on a big linear momentum stock. You know what? I'm going to buy mRNA. 
Oh my god, I need to sell some BE. This thing is straight up. Uh, mRNA. I'm gonna use the sick lows of the day as my stop as usual. What's a two more than two dollar stop? I'll I'll buy a starter on mRNA. I'll buy twenty thousand shares. Starter position. I'm not gonna add more today. I'm not gonna add more today. Excel and X is another semi stock. Yeah, it's just coming out of a range. But another one, it's, it's a shoppy stock, it's a slow moving stock. It does look decent, but you know. If you wanna do the semis, do Soxel. Just do Soxel. It's it's too late to chase these things now, in my opinion. Soxel the entry was low, low 180s. Yeah, PE. I'm gonna sell a partial here. I'm up quite a bit on it already. I bought 50,000 shares, 965. So I'm gonna sell like 5% of it, 10% of it. No, VRTC looks great. I bought it yesterday. It looks great. Higher lows. You have a hot momentum stock. It has a theme. And has a range break here in the low tens. It's a five star setup, you're not missing anything. Uh, Dal, all the airlines, UAL, AAL. They are basing here. They they're try they're bouncing off the rising 50 days, and so far they've been building higher lows. I think in the next couple of days there could be bullish setups here. Cruise lines too. Yeah, cruise lines look decent too if they can break higher. That's what I think about Dal. Not today, but maybe in the next couple of days if they set up. <laughs> Holy shit, BE straight up. Oh, good thing I didn't uh, add to PDD. <laughs> Ooh. Sometimes, sometimes I do the right thing. BCRX is act not acting that well. Mm. Beely? Here? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Beely. No, no, no. The ad spot was yesterday. No, 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 no. Why, 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 what are you doing? No. Don't chase these things up to eternity. The ad spot was yesterday. Billy. Yeah, some things are fading. Qcom, another semi stock. Like, semis have nice flags, but this is another one. It's a very slow name. Very slow name. You get most f for most bang for, for your buck on Soxel. Most of these semis are very slow. They're like large and mega cap names. When I do research, like check on news. I use Finvis, Fly on the Wall, uh, Seeking Alpha, stuff like that. Twitter is my main tool.
If LAC had 10 times as much volume, I would be buying this thing. This thing could be a big mover, it just has no volume. I have a market smith, I have fly on the wall, I have briefing.com. Those are the ones I have. I have core wait, which one? No, no, these are the yeah, those are the only ones. I also have investors business daily. Uh, but that one I'm not really using. I'm thinking about unsubscribing. I don't really use it anymore. How many days? Uh, 20, I think. Yeah, 20. Average daily range in, in the past. 20 days. Yeah, the IGV stocks, I, I think all the software names are going to go parabolic. This IGV is also super strong. The software ETF. Oh, mRNA, nice. You never mentioned Wix. Uh, it's a second uh, great stock. It's a second, it, it's not super... Um, Hasn't been, it hasn't set up super well, that's the problem. That's why I never mention it. Yeah, WRTC is testing. Hopefully we get 20 bucks before the week is over. I have high expectations. Short snapshot? Okay. Could work. Could work. WRTC does not work if target is running. What do you mean? What the, wait, the, what target? Oh, 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 you mean the product? Eh. Doesn't matter. It has a sexy theme, it has momentum, it has volume. That, that, that's all that matters. Yeah, I know it's now fake. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed it. Ah, oh, fuck this. Fuck this stock. I'm not gonna treat this I know. I'm so tired of it. Yeah, Tesla straight up. What's your main gotcha on knowing if a stock is a fast mover or is it... Okay, so first, like, has it made big moves in the past? That's the first thing. Then I look at stuff like ADR. Preferably, preferably it's above four. Like, Shopify and Tesla are kind of in the lower end, but these things have made big moves in the past, so you know these things move. And also, look at how, we how well this Tesla has been obeying the 10 and 20 day moving averages on both of their runs. And Shopify too. Then you know that those stocks are very linear, very clean moving. I, do I don't look at float very much. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, something like Shopify has a high float, but it's still, you know, making enormous moves. Tesla too. Tesla has also high float, but it, it's making big moves. 
So I don't, I don't really give a shit about the float. I'm looking at the past momentum and linearity, how well it obeys the 10 and 20 moving averages. High growth, yeah, sector momentum, absolutely. High growth, absolutely, if it has uh, big uh, growth numbers, like big EPS revenue growth, both preferably more over 40%. Uh, and absolutely, PLDP2, like I knew that plug has been on a big tear, it broke out like last week, so when it, this PLDP started breaking out on this perfect flag pattern yesterday, I had some conviction in it. Same thing with PE, I knew PLDP broke out yesterday, plug has been going straight up for the past few weeks, so when I saw the news on BE and this thing gapping up on big volume, having some news with Samsung, I knew this thing could be big. Gave me some conviction. So I always am aware of what's moving and if, you know, what sectors are moving, etc. PDD, yeah. Man, I'm so happy I sold some instead of adding. I would be so pissed off right now. Exactly. Yeah, poker face. That's a very good. Yeah, if the stock can double, it can double again. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Past momentum is a very good indicator of uh, new momentum. That's why these stocks that you guys have been mentioning, like SL, XLNX and some of these other semi names that were mentioned, like these things. Look at how shoppy these things are. There's no momentum here. It's just a random stock doing a random thing, and this, what, which, 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 like, like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, another one. It's just super shoppy. Doesn't have a lot of momentum. Stick to the momentum leaders. If you want to make big money in the markets, you have to stick to the momentum leaders. You have to stick to the best ones. You can't sit there and trade second and third uh, great stocks. This week, yeah, okay. For example, this DXCM, this one I'm, I'm, I'm stalking. This is a momentum leader, it's a growth leader. It's setting up in a very nice way. Look at how clean this thing, this thing has been moving uh, previously. Like this thing has mostly been obeying the 20 day moving average. And this uh, present run it's on, look at how, for how long this thing obeyed the 10 day moving average. Right? Look at this thing. This thing doubled without pretty much barely touching the rising 10 day. Then it pulled back, found support on the rising 50 day, and then it found support again on the rising 50 day. And now it's uh, getting tight here. It's, it's building a flag. Ready for a new run, hopefully. These are the type of stocks you want to trade. It's a momentum leader. It's a growth leader. It's, it's very linear. It obeys the moving averages. It's not shoppy. It's very clean. That's a lot of momentum. <laughs> exactly. Hertz and Hertz. LK and uh, uh, CHK, those are the leaders. CHKAQ is the new symbol, yep. <laughs> oh man, guys, do you remember when, when this thing, when it pushed this thing to the high 70s? Good times. <laughs> Holy shit, NVAX reversing. Uh, yeah, it's still holding higher lows in the 60 minute chart. What's I know? Ah. PDD. Well, 
wait, is it really hundred billion market cap? It says wrong in the, in the in the TC two thousand. It's not four hundred billion. It's hundred billion. Yeah, well, that's the type of market we are in right now. You can either fight it, like I could have said to myself, oh, look, what a nice setup when it broke out here. But hey, it has never made a quarterly profit, so I'm going to pass on it. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, different sources say different things. I don't know which ones are right. It's like Nikola, like some sources show this thing has like a 30 or 40 billion market cap, but there's no way this thing had a 30 or 40 billion market cap. I, I don't think they had, maybe they had, I don't know. INO, yeah, INO is, uh, yeah, it's because it's a huge momentum stock, 14% ADR, yep, it means it has a lot of range. Because of the metric system? <laughs> yeah. RH2, another one I'm stocking, look at how linear this thing is. Look at how well it, it has been obeying the 10 and 50 day past few months. And even before that, it ran last year. Look at how well it obeyed the 20 day and the 50 day moving averages. This RH is also a very clean trader. Those are the stocks you want to get in. You don't want randomness. You want the stocks that uh, institutions are supporting on every dip. Hey, Reno and David, you guys suck. This HCCH is going down. Uh, workhorse, uh, hopefully it goes to 20 plus today and we may get the short tomorrow. I have 50,000 shares located on this thing, but uh, David's fault? Yeah, exactly. Let's blame David. He gets in, us into these frauds and then we lose money. Yeah, I get pumped and dumped by David. He told me to buy this thing and now it's going lower. Wait, it's Reno's idea? <laughs> so now it's Reno's fault? <laughs> Let's play the blame game here, huh? Yeah, I need to buy more shares. I need to push this thing up to 20 bucks myself. You're adding on dips? Okay. Yeah, there's the rising 20 EMA is there on the 60 minute chart. What I think of BE, guys, I've been talking for this BE for a long time. I bought 50,000 shares 965 because it's in a hot sector and had some news with Samsung uh, Heavy Industries. That's what I think of BE. I'm long. I sold 3,000 shares. No, sorry. 2,000 shares. No, 3,000 shares so far. That's what I think about BE. 
Oh, you just joined? Yeah. No, I'm long this thing from 965. Hot sector had some news with a big name. It can't get better. Having big volume. It looks like this today may be the biggest uh, volume day, or at least green volume day. It had a big green volume day here where it traded 9.5 million shares late last year. But I think it's going to trade more than 10 million shares today going at the current volume rate. Okay, I'm going to do one more scan and then I'm going to cut the stream. Uh, Xilinx, super slow moving, um, semi name, Pol oh what's this Pola, I know this thing was pumped a couple of years ago. Da -da -da. Mm, gold ETFs are breaking out again. Gold looks great. Yeah, when DXCM breaks out, I'm gonna be in it. Right now, it's all about waiting for it to break out. Exactly, boring day watching my longs go up. That has been my that's been my life the past two months. It feels like I've been working too little. Make a review of Jim Simons. One review each day. <laughs> nah. <sighs> I think the medallion fund is down on the year. They got clobbered. HIMX. Uh, another semi name, a low price thing. It's untradeable for me, but I guess, you know, all the semis are going, so. As long as the semis go, this thing will go too. Or keep going. The CYTI is setting up for a potential short. Just a little ego pump for you? Which one? Hey David, which one? Which what what is an ego pump for me? I like ego pumps. Oh, B-E? Oh, okay. You too, David. David, you're my second favorite person in the chat, just so you know. How does it feel like being the second? <laughs> Have a great day. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the stream now. Um, thanks for joining and I'll see you tomorrow.